Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got those before bros polishes and I'm going to do a gradient and stamp. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and here are these beautiful polishes. This one's Take a Hint. Bows before bros. How pretty. This is going to be my base color so that my gradient looks really nice. Now if you've been on my channel for a while you'll know I have a love-hate relationship with white polish. I love the look of it. Just a plain white mani to me is just so classy, but um, I, I struggle with white polishes. Now this one was really, really good. Depending on your application, you could do this in one coat. Seriously. In fact, I might just do that. I think I will. Oh, did it right there in my head. <laughs> I'm being sure to cap that free edge there. My issue with white polishes is the cleanup. I, I just, you know... And they've got to have a good enough formula to where I don't make a big mess. And this one is a winner. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> ah. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat real quick. Um, and let this dry down. It's uh, going to be a gradient and stamp. So there's going to be a lot of layers to this one today. I just kept looking at those beautiful polishes up on my shelf. My friend Shannon sent me four of them. Today I'm going to use three of the four. I'm all latexed up and I am going to do a thing with that latex video. This is Raise Your Standards and I meant to do that. And I've got my dampened makeup sponge that I've already cut down. I cut it mine in half because that's about perfect for my nails. And I'm just going to build this gradient up. Now you guys have seen me do this before. I like to just go over them until, you know, sometimes it's one or two passes, sometimes it's five. And I, I'm going to give you a, a little tip on how I do this. I get questions all the time. I filled my sponge up and then I started on my pointer finger for that round. And now I'm filling up my sponge again. And I'll be starting on my middle finger and going through the round and ending up back on my, I'm going to do my thumb and my pointer finger. And then after I load this sponge up again, I'm going to start on my ring finger. I just kind of move a finger over when I start the gradient so that the amount of polish that goes on them is, you know, working its way through the line. I guess that's how I'm going to put it. I'm just working my way through the line. <laughs> It just seems to work for me, um, especially if I've got to do multiple passes over all of these nails, you know. It depends on what polishes you use, too. I mean, seriously, there's some polishes you can, you can get away with going over that stuff once and you're good to go. But I just keep messing with it until I'm happy with how opaque it is. I was really hoping the green would show up more green on camera. It's looking more white. But it is a minty green. Y'all saw the bottle. I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> but I was really excited to use these. They've been sitting on my sh shelf up there since Miss Shannon had sent them to me. And I originally wanted to use the black one too. I wanted to use, remember these bottles had a little bitty like detailed brush in the top of the bottle? <clears throat> yeah, I don't know that I'll be using that. Um, I tried, I was, I put some of the black out on a mat and was going to do a little bit of freehand. I know, crazy as that sounds. I was going to do some freehand on this. Just some like little swirls and twirls and dots and stuff. But that little brush wasn't, wasn't going to do it. So, I switched gears and decided I would stamp over this today instead. Now, I haven't given up on that little brush completely. I will pull it out again and see what I think. Maybe one of the other ones... We'll have a nice brush on it or something that that's talking to me more but this the one that was in the black polish was a no-go so i just cleaned it up and put it back on the cap and you know let it ride ah we got to break woody out i've got a little piece of brush that attached itself to the sponge and i did not want to transfer that to my gradient that would have made me all kind of sideways 
And like I said, I am still going to do a video on how I did my little latex concoction. I don't make latex. I don't want y'all to be confused, but <clears throat> I did make glitter latex. And look how good this stuff comes up. Ta-da! Not struggling with it. I will have a video on that soon, I promise. I've got my little cleanup brush out with my little dampened dish of acetone. And look, the minor cleanup is just lovely on this one. I'll once again be topping it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Because we got to get it dry down again so that we can do some stamping. I love how a top coat just smooths everything out. I'll be using You Are Beautiful 18 in this squiggly design. Nicole Diaries NS11, and this is a beautiful purple stamping polish. I'll be using my knockoff clear blinged out stamper. I think I got mine from Born Pretty or AliExpress. And I believe that's my Beauty Big Bang scraper out today. But I'm getting outside of my normal box of black, white, gold, and silver, and I'm going to use this purple today. Um, I'm happy to announce my Manny K finally got voided of the boxes that belonged in the attic, and I can actually get to all of my products now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, we, we finally got all them boxes out of my, my mani cave, and I'm able to move around and find stuff. I'm using that leftover polish that was left on the scraper for this next nail. Waste not, want not, right? Um, I've got a little piece of white something on there. That has got to go. There we go. And I'm cleaning off my plate again like normal with acetone and a cotton ball. And I'm going to use some more of that leftover paint still on my scraper. Because all I need is enough for my pinky nail. There we go. Got some cleanup to do. I am going to try to get some of this up with the tape. And I do get a little bit of it up. Not not as much as I wish, but yeah, I'll take whatever I can get. And I'm going to get that kind of cleaned up just a tad. But <clears throat> I can tell you that when I do have to go after it with the brush and the acetone, it didn't smear all over the place. This shade, it cleaned up really well. I was really pleased with it. And there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All nice and easy to do. Get up under those nails, because we know that's where Tina likes to hide extra polish. Ah, and I'm going to top this one with some smudge free top coat by Bundle Monster. And it's going to take a long time for me to get used to calling them something else, so y'all will have to forgive me until then. Hi Woody, welcome to the show. Now I'm going to use my posh top coat and complete this manicure for today. It's taking me a minute, sorry I'm playing with that bottle. Some days. Here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself.